It is day 245 of the drought in the heartland. And today's a start, but we need a lot more to make up a difference. Amy Holly is live in Waldo. Well, we got this rain gauge, and Gary Lezak, he and I talked a little bit earlier today. He said that this area in Waldo got about three quarters of an inch of rain, not enough to save uh, the parched land here. Our yards not only needed it today, but there are others who see it as saving their livelihood. The farmers we met down at the Ag Show downtown at Bartle Hall say today's rain isn't enough to save their winter wheat crop. Nearly all of Kansas and Missouri, they say, are in a drought, and so is 60% of the country. Today's wet weather will push the timeline of losing their crops out a little bit further, but they say if we don't get any more rain within the next two to four weeks when temperatures start to warm up, the wheat will start to come out of dormancy and start dying if the ground remains parched. Still, the farmers who are used to being at the mercy of Mother Nature told me today they are still very grateful. The good Lord's doing us a favor today. Yeah. I mean, we, we had a wonderful rain and hopefully that it continues throughout the spring and into the summer and, you know, we make up for what we lost last year. So again, a little rain in the rain gauge may be a little bit of relief, but tonight at 6, I'm going to dig in the dirt, and you'll see how it tells a much different story underneath the ground. Live in Waldo, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.